Well, hey guys, Juan here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use an iMac as a second monitor. You can go your own way. Go your own way. Now, you may be asking yourself, why would I want to use an iMac as a second monitor? Well, sometimes these external monitors, these uh, uh, second displays can cost a lot of bit, a lot of money. Um, and if you go on Facebook Marketplace, you can find iMacs pretty cheap nowadays. So you might be able to find um, an old 27 inch iMac or a 21 and a half inch iMac and then use that as a second display to maybe your MacBook Pro. And that's what I did in this video here. Uh, so I'm gonna walk through the steps of what you need and then also I'll put on the screen which models are compatible because not every iMac is able to do this second display or this target display mode effect is what Apple calls it. Uh, not every iMac can be used as a second uh, display. So I'm going to put on the screen there which models are compatible so that way you can match up your iMac and uh, your MacBook Pro or laptop, whatever you're using, to see if it's going to be compatible. And then also I'll show you which cables and um, that you're going to need to achieve this. And then also I'll have links down in the description below of where you can buy these things. So check it out. Uh, so right here I'm using a 13 inch. Uh, newer MacBook Pro. It's one of the, I think it's 2017 is what this one is, but they make these now uh, with just the USB-C ports, so you got to live that dongle life. Apple's made it a little bit more difficult now that they only have the USB-C inputs and they don't have those old uh, HDMI imports like they used to on their older MacBook Pros. So in order to do this, you need an adapter. So what you'll need is an adapter that looks just like this. This is a Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter. And I'll have a description or a link in the description down below of where you can get this. So on one end it's a USB-C, on the other end it's that display port, Thunderbolt. Also you'll need a Thunderbolt cable like this. So I went with a 0.5 meter cable, so it's kind of a short one just because I don't like a, a lot of wires. Uh, being shown uh, on my desk setup so I went with the shortest one that they offer. So those are the two components that you'll need in order to do this. Alright so the first step is you'll need to have both of your devices turned on and logged on. So I've got my MacBook Pro here on and I've got my iMac ready to go. Next up you'll need to connect your cables so I'm going to take my Thunderbolt cable here and I'm going to connect it to the adapter and I'm going to plug in the USB-C on one end of my MacBook Pro and take this other end here and plug it into my iMac. Let's do that now. A few moments later. Okay, so now that the cables are connected, you can see that I'm running Mojave here on my laptop and here on the iMac I'm running an older operating system, but we're going to take a mirror of this to this and make the MacBook Pro, the main machine that's running. All you have to do now is hit Command F2. Okay, and now you can see both devices are connected together. This one's being used as an external monitor or an additional display to the MacBook Pro, and the MacBook Pro is the main machine running to both of these. So I hope this helped you out. Uh, maybe it was a little a good solution for you. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. I do tech videos and tech reviews all the time. Thanks a lot for watching this, guys. Until next time, be creative.